it's four o'clock. So um, the meeting has been called to order because we had another item at 3.30. But we will um, uh, now proceed with uh, the item on the agenda at 4 p.m., which is a continuation of Amherst uh, Media's application. Um, we will continue the hearing. So uh, with that, we will ask the applicant yeah, to present you know, new information that's uh, revision since the last meeting. So again, if you could identify who you are. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, dear members of the Local Historic District Commission, uh, as you might know by now, I'm Jim Lusko, the Executive Director of Amherst Media, and I'm pleased to be sitting here before you tonight. As we have previously presented and explained, Amherst Media is glad for our initial investment in purchasing the property of Main and Gray Street from the Gadera Trust. The property met all of our desired criteria, downtown location, on a bus route, near the middle and high schools, and the ability to assist in our organization's sustainability. While many residents at your public hearings attested to the importance of our work within the town of Amherst, there were some who felt our presence was out of character in the, of the historic district. Much work has gone into the concept and design before you tonight. The character of the building is appropriate. It is our firm belief that our application is it within the intent of the local historic district commission's bylaws and manages to reflect both the residential and commercial characteristics of the immediate neighborhood. This was accomplished by moving our proposed facility as far to the east of our parcel as possible ensuring the unobstructed view of the Hills House and Women's Club from the main street perspective once past our building site. This allows for the abutters express desire to have their houses seen as well as our right to build to coexist. The commission's ability to work with both the abutters and the applicant to find a solution that addresses each other's needs should be commended. We are hoping tonight's presentation will provide the information you need to vote for a certificate of appropriateness so we can move forward in our project. I'll now introduce Bill Gillen for the presentation of that package. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What are we going to do? The drawings are behind you. The slides are on the wall. See, uh, Everyone has a lot of my 17 yeah. handouts, oh, too. Okay. Yeah, and if we need to get up, we will. Yeah. Okay. Can you put it on sheet one? That's what I made the guess. Right. I can actually see Drawing one. You probably can see that screen. That's what I was. Can you see that screen? The, no. This Marianne might be able to. Yeah. Yeah. I, might go, I, might go. I think we're just about, I mean, I would, I think we can just walk. If everyone has, you know, those are my yeah. 17. If you simply pointed us to the correct page. The first page. On the handout. Yeah. Sheet one. I think it okay. good. That's the site plan. Of, of your, of the one you just gave us. Uh, right. Yeah, he'll be the, all right. The one he just right. gave us. Well, while they're getting. No, that's not true. The drawings up, uh, that's in the right order on the screen. Okay. I'll look at this while I'm talking, which is okay, what you're looking at. That is our number, number one. Yeah. one. Yeah. one. And uh, that shows uh, the, uh, the building on the corner. It shows the parking behind the building. Uh, it shows a grade access into the building on both the south side and the north side. It shows another exit over here at the corner, uh, because we had a dead end corridor, so you're not allowed to have a dead end corridor exceeding 25 feet um, without a sprinkler system. Uh, the square on the left is the square of the area where there'll be uh, a filtration system installed, which will dispose of the stormwater on the site, stormwater coming off of the parking lot in the building. And that will mean raising the, blending again with the site, but causing about a one foot in increase in the uh, elevation. Question? Fine, uh, whatever Or, or no, sorry. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed there's a handicap mm -hmm. entrance uh, off Gray Street, and I'm not quite certain what doorway that accesses. I see the handicap. I see this doorway and that doorway. That's, that's not the current drawing. This, this is. Like what you'll see on the screen. We oh, move the handicapped what? entrance to. Did these? Are these not the current drawing? Yeah, the ones I just seen. The ones I just handed so out. So. That's, 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 you're, you're good, Bruce. You have an old one. No. 
I think we all have the same. Can yeah. I just hand it no, they're not. I, no, it's just. Oh, okay. 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 That's fine. Good. I have the new one. Good catch. <laughs> <laughs> so we've moved the, uh, since in our previous meetings, we've moved the uh, handicapped uh, access over, accessible parking spot over next to the uh, entrance uh, next door to the little uh, fenced in area that has the uh, heat pumps and bicycles. Uh -huh. It's also a path, um, a footpath running through to Main Street from uh, the parking lot. <clears throat> That's nice. Question. Bill, you've got a decorative roofing style that's going to be on the west side of that parking area. A decorative roofing style? Uh, well, you, you mentioned it in here. There's a picture of it here. Uh, I think you call it a boxwood. Oh, the, roof, the planting. That's this planting over here. And it's a picture. You'll see the picture here. It's used from, it's used the public walk. Uh, it's a, yes. It's an Ilex Steedman, which is a variety of boxwood. So, it's on the drawing. Yeah, okay. I had a question. Yes. Do, they, do these boxwoods get to be very tall? They go no higher than six feet. No higher than six mm -hmm. feet. And these would not be trimmed, so they would be open. Are they year-round? Yeah. Uh, evergreens? They're green now, yes. Yeah. So they would shield the cars at six feet? From the yes, so. Because the women are high up. So they're looking back. I'm just wondering if they're tall enough. Yes, uh, bear in mind that there's a, a grade here, over here, over here. It's four feet higher than the grade here. So they're already planted up on the ridge. Oh, so I it's see. like 10 feet from, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so they should shield. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, along the back of the parking lot is a stone wall which will exactly match the stone wall that's here, I guess I've got it on the screen now. So the both of those curved lines are stone walls on each side, where where I'm looking to the right. This is a bituminous curb. Yes. The stone wall starts right there. Yes. And below that, the one that's an upside down view. Yes, that's stone also. Yes, but over to the upside down part. She means further to the right. To the right. Yes. 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 This, this is just the black top edge of the of the black top. There's no need for retaining. Thank right. you. Yes, there. Thank you. So we'll go to the uh, plan sheet. Can we find that plan drawing number one? It says oh, floor two. Oh, we're going to say floor plan number, right, number two. Drawing number two. Yeah. We just go in order. It'll be easy. okay. Uh, let's look at the building. Oh, sorry, not great for the commission. What's that? It's not good for the commission, but uh, <coughs> you know, the screen or your paper copy, whatever. Yeah, I so long as I can relate to what he's talking about. Let's sure. give it a go. See, we don't have our old room, huh? Yeah, I can see. I'm fine. Okay. You can sit over here. It's okay. <laughs> well, the heart yeah, of the thanks. building is the studio. And so far is a small studio. I'm sorry, and along you. here we've got various uh, computer people and other support spaces associated with them using the studio. Uh, we have a large reception area, a coat hanging area here, handicapped uh, bathrooms, and here a green room. Uh, Jim Lesko's office here, a conference room, a break room. This is an interesting room. It's the room where all the cameras and equipment are stored so that they come and go very quickly and this person keeps an eye on them, I guess. And this room is uh, for your meters and your cable cast equipment. That's like a utility room. Uh, I have a question. I just want to verify. At its closest point to Main Street, is that 13, point, 13 feet point three inches? It's yeah, two pixels. 13.3. 13.3 inches, right? 13.3. 13, 13 feet, feet 3 inches. Yeah, okay. 13.25. Yeah, we put those dimensions here, and we have dimensions at the corners, and dimension up there. Oh, this area. But this point right here is 13 feet. Yes. 3 inches, okay. That's the closest. Yes. Uh, there's a planting bed here, I don't know, four or five feet across, which is. Uh, 
a little stone wall because the grade is falling down over here, so the stone wall uh, defines that uh, bed, and that will be a planting bed. So we don't want you to think when you look at the elevations, it looks barren, but there'll be uh, usual plantings there. We have this accessible parking sign, just so as we have a placeholder for that. Uh, looking at the elevations, this is the elevation facing Main Street. It's uh, clabbered windows. We have a sample of we have the sample of the Anderson Architect window. This is the the way the trim we call it the trim the surround uh, will come as one big unit. And it, it uh, none of these shows the horns, which you may be wondering what the horns are, but they're the sill extensions down at the bottom that stick out. And those are called horns, and they're typical. So we have them. We are thrilled to discover that we can get these things now. And the windows come with them, and they just pop them up, and it's perfect. Uh, we have a window here. It gives some light uh, because there's the stairs in the attic that comes up right there. Uh, these funny lines are reference lines to uh, the sections, which will come later, a drawing of sections. These drawings are such that they can be used for pricing right now. They will, they're not used for building, but they could be used for pricing. So that's why there are a lot of things which will turn into construction documents. They will turn into construction documents. This is the the gray street facade, and uh, there's the level of the sidewalk. There's a slope about like that, up to the corner here. There's some steps and a little handrail there to go down to the parking, two parking spaces there. And uh, then over at this corner, there's the stone wall, which is uh, a loose, a dry laid stone wall with over uh, a foot of uh, crushed stone. And it has a dead men, which are very deep stones, which will go about two and a half feet into the ground and act to, to support the wall, keep it from being pushed over by frost. May I ask by frost. a question, mm -hmm. just while they occur? One is, I assume, going back up to uh, the north um, uh, west side, that the handicapped access is in through the doorway that we see on the north elevation. Is that correct? That's where that... That's, uh, the, that's, the, that's the, the, the door uh, also the parking lot? Which yes. Is the the yes. accessible, they're, they're both accessible front okay. and back. Thank you. And the second question is, uh, I like the pediments that you have over the doorway on the south elevation mm -hmm. and the doorway over the north elevation. Now, I can see a problem with making a pediment over the east elevation. Have you considered that simply well, for it, the symmetry of the It three? was thought that uh, it's safer to not let people think that that's an entry. I it's see. more of an exit way. I see. Otherwise, there'd, ex there'd be an expectation for handicapped that, access that keeps going. Okay. Thank you. And it's a, they have a big security problem. They can't have all these doors open. Right. That's okay. right. So that's an exit. Just as we tried to come in this building today, we couldn't come in because the back door says exit only. Thank you. We won't put a sign up. We'll let you try it. Okay. <laughs> so where was I? Maybe I was over on the side facing uh, the, the Triangle Street. There's our ilex growing, and there's the stone wall that varies in height. Varies in height. This is the conference room uh, office and, and the break room here, and another window there. And these dimensions tell you the heights of the ridge, which I can't, I can't read. It's, uh, let's say 25, 9 to the highest. 20, right, 25 feet, 9 to the highest. Yeah. Now, this is the side, this is the north elevation looking towards Main Street, but through the buildings in the way. Clabbered here. There's a band, as there is on the east elevation, a band because the building is higher. 
And that band is very useful for us as, as a, blend, a, brand, a band of smooth material, stucco. And we can use that for elements that we need to put in that don't sit well in the middle of uh, uh, shape or uh, clabbered siding. This here and here, we have, uh, sorry, here and here, we reserve for a grill to provide the supply air, fresh air, and, and exhaust air from the studio, big studio, and the little studio. So, uh, and in addition, there's a note here that we would have a, a combustion gas, uh, combustion air, and uh, combustion gases ports. Those would be like three inch white PVC ports if we have a gas fired system. We don't know at the moment whether we're going to have gas fired or it will be uh, air through air heat pump, one or the other. But in case we happen, we do have, I think it's most likely, we'll have at least a uh, gas furnace in the attic in that area. And this is the mechanics associated with it. We were also uh, requested or advised that we should show any anything on the roof. And so we do know we have We'll have two um, plumbing vents. Those are about three inch copper pipes. We have put them on the back side of the building by making them run up along the roof underneath in the attic and then come out on the back side so that you don't see them from uh, Main Street. This is the stone wall, retaining wall that is uh, echoing the one across the parking lot. This is a large door used for bringing big equipment in and out of the studio. This is a fence which I uh, I copied from Emily Dickinson's yard which would hide the uh, equipment and the bicycles. Here's the cultural center uh, sign that's existing which will remain. Okay. Go to the next. Hey, hold on, Bill. I just want to um, no. have the commission yeah. notice that this on is the, the, the site plan, there's okay. also in the corner, there's now a freestanding sign. Yeah. <coughs> so, you know, up in the corner of the site plan on page two, in the northeast corner. You'll, you'll see it on another yeah, drawing. That's on a note location. And, uh, you know, we're yeah. not married to it, but if, if we, for some reason, maybe the fire department, someone says we could have a sign that we didn't want to have to come back and approval for that. So now I guess we're ready for three. And these are the uh, fly around which we, uh, we did uh, in November. Going to the back. And uh, Clayton Richardson, who's running this, he himself has uh, upgraded our building, not the other stuff, but the building, this one. to be closer. To be the same shape and size as the one we've ended up with. This is the viewscape from the from the Hill House, looking north, and uh, this is the view of the Hill House looking from the main street up. Why is there an X through the paper copies of this page? So in the handouts. The, um, if you flip through page three and five, if you flip all the way to the back, there's a new page three and a new page five okay, that has the current use. So, just keep going. It's like on the you know out so of order. So there's only yeah. six drawings in all. Seven. Seven. Sorry, seven. 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 That's sorry, fine. Seven no, no. That, I'm sure everyone's having the same question. Yeah. So if you just keep going to the yeah. end, there's new sheet three and new sheet five. Oh, yeah. New sheet seven. That's what happens is that we keep looking at it. This. Oh, we got to catch this. We got to catch that. And we kept feeding it to Mike, uh, to Nate, and, and uh, we overwhelmed him. Uh, so we, this is the, uh, the building here, and, it, and it, so this is a view from Main Street of the Hills House. Again, another view of the Hills House. The corner of Ray and Main. So those are, that's the viewscape that we're uh, protecting and preserving. Okay, let me go to sheet four. So much better. 
before it gives you the attic plan, the portion that's shaded dark is the area where the height of the attic is above six feet. That's the usable area. This is the stairs up from the first floor. This is the stairs up to the additional four or five feet up to the top of the studio ceiling. In this area, it's a the mechanical room. That's where the fan, <coughs> the furnace would be to satisfy air for this section of the building. Uh, you want to point out, Bill, just the, um, the, the sign specs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the roof plan. Oh, yeah. uh, it shows the two pipes on the roof. Other than that, there's nothing interesting. Uh, this is the my narrative. You have to write a book or narrative, <laughs> which I enjoy. <laughs> Third floor can do it, but over here, there's one section I'd like to uh, re read because it's one of the. And few it's parts. actually so you can read it. It's on this handout. It's yeah. one of the few things so that you, uh, so you can actually see it, not yeah, in like a separate copy, right? My new font. I, one of the few things I, I have some passion. Yes, yeah, narrative from Amherst Media is what it's titled. The building is not included to upset the existing balance of the dominating Hills Mansions to the north or the perfectly restored and important Dickinson Museums to the west. This building is intended to blend in. It is not intended to appear as the most important building on the street. It is modest, a New England look. It should not draw attention to itself. This is reserved for the important of others. And all along I've been trying to say this is not the end all, the best thing that you ever saw. The intent is to be a good soldier along the, along the street and not distract from the stars. You just mentioned the name they did. In this is also a uh, this verbiage which, or writing which uh, tells you that there are a lot of such buildings along that side of Main Street, starting with Amherst Glass and then the Jewish Community Center, and this there a bunch of the Nagel Center. So we're not alone for that type of use in this area. And then, yes, over here, just to be sure that there's no later objection, in case we need to put a sign, there's a painted wood sign, it's this wide and this high. It's hard to tell, I should have put, in, put a person in to give you a sense of scale. Oh, and, and this map shows you where the dark building, the purpose of this map is to show you how it looks in its context with other buildings in the neighborhood. And it's neither the largest, certainly not the smallest, but it, it's not an outlier. This is the Emily Dickinson. This is the hot tubs. This is the big three-decker. This is this property. This building is as big as this building. OK. Number five are sections, which you can see from these things, it are the details that have been asked for how the trim, how the fascia is done, how the trim is done, what the, what the columns look like, they're not found with columns. Bill, the, yeah. uh, these are useful too, but these guys here are, that we had last time, are also useful and differently useful. Um, so are, are these still current? I mean, these are I sections, so. and these are these are elevations. So this this shows us the width of all of these mm -hmm. things. Yeah, now, but it's course, also spelled out exactly if, up there. If you if we do blow up the elevations, we would I mean quite large. Yes. You'd probably see this, yeah. but you'll we can see, see it, right it easier here. on here. So I'm I'm going to assume that these are current, mm -hmm. still current. But it's it's what generated these came from that. Yeah. Um, this is the main entry, glass, and glass, and glass, so it's lighted up. Oh, okay. I, I did want to ask about the different 
difference in the door and glass design of the two main entries. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm wondering whether you had intention there or whether there could be more symmetry between the two. Because, um, you know, I did notice that on the front entry, there are two sets of lights next to the door, which really does note that it's a main entry. Maybe we should go to the other way. Back to sheet two. Yeah. The main entrance has got uh, the three south elevation. panels of glass. Yes, uh, it does. It's not symmetrical. That's why. What? Uh, That's right, and it's not the same door design as the east elevation. Shelf. They're all the same door. They're all fully glazed, single, and but there is but a side light of identical uh, muntins like this. Uh, it, it, looked, it looked to me as if the east and north had a, a you know a main section and then a light over it, whereas the uh, the south elevation had a more elegant design as I could see. Yeah, well that's intentional. That, that okay. we were right. really it was uh, your committee's suggestion that we make the front door have more. Uh, something <laughs> Mean, well, mean it's the front. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we dressed it up for you. <clears throat> we go to the, uh, are we up to five, six, maybe? Six. six. So this is the the wall that we will be carrying on with. We'll be the wall exactly like that. This is the hedge right in here. That is... Uh, this is uh, me. This is I, I should say. Uh, when I brought the building that is where the police station is now, because we've designed the police station, we took that building rather than waste it and moved it down. Robert Frost lived in the building. We moved it down. Bruce was involved with Did, did I take that photograph? <laughs> <laughs> you should have been in the picture too. But, and, uh, we moved it down and literally blocked the view of the mansion. We blocked the view of a bunch of crap. So they were very happy about that. What was behind it was a very dilapidated lumberyard called Ellie Jones Lumberyard, which they quickly had replaced with one on Route 9, so which is leaders now. And we took one of the buildings, the lumberyard buildings, and made it into our office. We took down the other buildings because we had to have parking. And so we uh, saved that, but the view before was not a pretty view. The view a hundred years ago was a very prestigious view of the lord of the manor looking out over his hat factory, <laughs> which which burned down, I believe, in the early 30s. That's the story of that picture. And, and actually, I have my pockets open because someone had just asked me, has it cost a lot of money? <laughs> I said, you see, there's nothing in my pocket. <laughs> This is the cultural center, which there is one right here, which will remain. And uh, this drawing, the ones you see probably have room. So you can actually see this. This is the outline of the building, and you're seeing what we're blocking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, you can see it better. It may be hard to see on this, but you can see it on that one there. If, that the, you can see the lines through it, and that's showing what you're blocking. Right? Yeah. So you're basically blocking that what is now the first house on Gray Street. Yes. Right. And that picture was taken just on the sidewalk on Main Street, right? On the north, on the same side of the street, not, not across the street. The wire diagram? Oh, from where I took the picture. Yeah, yeah. Or from me, because I'm on the other side of the street. So uh, we only have another, another slide. And the pictures. Is there catalog information of the windows and of the buttons uh, from Anderson? So that's the very the last color. sheet. Uh, and they, when you look at the PDFs on your screen, you can blow them up and, and read them. I thought it was good to get all of our presentation into one set so that the whole nine yards is here. But that's the, uh, the window series. And uh, Pella will the ones who will get these 
surrounds me, the trim made up of this earth. Uh, and then the signage over the door on the front will be, uh, well, let's go to the one over here first. These are raised letters that have a slight light behind them, and that will be uh, maybe six inch high letters uh, over the uh, front door. This is the cornice detail. These are other cornices in, in the area, Emily Dickinson's cornice. Uh, these are the, the, the look of the columns. This is the look of the louver that will be taking air in uh, on the north side. This is the look of stucco. This is the look of a gray shingle roof. I, I don't remember, John, what was this? I've got six four. questions. Some, uh, okay, you have a question, too. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, these are the kinds of lighting, where we have lighting, would be recessed in the soffit and uh, will cast a dim light. Uh, we install them in the uh, one of my big jobs, the uh, toilet room on the <laughs> ball field, the community field. There's, and you'll see, you know, when I mean, you drive up, you'll see the doors dimly lit up from a soffit, a soffit light. And they're, uh, they don't, they're LED lights. So amazingly, they haven't burned out. Can you remind us about the siding? The siding is uh, four inch exposure. Cool. Uh, with cement wood, call it, uh, and it will be white. I, I believe so, but I. It's, it's not our call. But I we haven't it. got there yet. Well, that's that's Two, all. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, so, um, yeah. so the um, I want to. The commissioners to have a chance to ask some questions. I have I have one question before I'm just going to jump right in here. Um, the sign. I'm sure, I'm comfortable with it being backlit. Is that you mean so at night it will be lit all night? Is that going to? Is that going to look a little? Uh, oh, it's very subtle. It's I, very. I, I I would leave that to him. Okay. <laughs> because, that, I mean, that that. That could fall off, you know. You could change that easily. It's not, a, it's not like it's going to be there for a million years. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to say that I'll open up to questions. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, when you said it's not, it's meant the building was designed sort of not to intrude. I guess I saw it as, you know, a continuation of the residential structures down Gray Street. Mm -hmm. That since it's residential on Gray and commercial on Main. So One makes, building has to have both. So I saw it as there's always been like a vacant lot on the corner of Main yeah. and Gray that could have had a house, and that this is the closest, it looks like a continuation. Exactly. Modest in that it's a continuation of the houses going down Gray Street. That was my intent. I didn't right. want an outlier. Yep. Um, so I know that um, Bruce had some questions. Should I start at this? Oh, let me start with Bruce and we'll work down this way. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bill, the roof overhang is. is uh, Eight inches. Um, I think it's four. No, it says eight. Well, it's eight on the soffit, I guess. Oh, and if you aggregate it, it yeah. might come out. Um, I guess, Nate, I'm the, I, I, I don't want to become, you know, the, the closet architect here, so I'm not quite sure how I can distinguish my um, observations from, right. uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a, uh, um, do the work of the commission. Right. Um, I, I think uh, elegance in buildings is equated with uh, generosity and overhangs. Um, so I guess I'll simply ask, is it possible that uh, the overhangs could be... Not only possible, we love it. The Re reason we love it, one, another reason we love it, because buildings with big overhangs don't have problems with rain coming in the windows. That's right. It's uh, it's generous it's to the like building. That. It's also so it, it pays so, off. So I would. Uh, so maybe I should be looking at you, Jim. Um, when Bill advocates for a generosity in the overhangs, so expanding it, um, I hope that uh, you could support that. I think that would be a, 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 
a noticeable improvement. Um, and uh, so maybe we'll see whether that functions as a condition or not. But do you have a, a no, you mean, are you thinking of a size overhang? Yeah, doubling it. I'm sorry, what? Doubling it. Doubling, okay. Um, the, uh, that would, that would, on the, uh, on, on the, on the, on the, the gable ends as well as the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, well maybe the, maybe uh, double on the south and north and, and 1.5 on the uh, east and west. On the east? Yeah, because I know it's more difficult to get generous overhangs and you know, that they're going in that direction and it's... Flying rafters? Yeah. Anyway, uh, it, it double would be fine, but 1.5 will look as as good, and we often have imbalances there, and they look well. Um, so um, then the the elevation. I don't know about the rest of you, but I looked at these on my computer, and I figureized them significantly, so I could see all this. Um, the page two. I'm on. I'm. I'm. My questions now relate to the elevations for the next couple. Yeah, page two. The the. Uh, I'm not sure where we have this reference, but it's it's a reference to what you call um, vertical reveal joints. It's in that uh, um, mm -hmm. flat horizontal band above the windows, yeah. and um, are they going to? It, it says that they're expressed, and I'm not thinking. Just a tool joint. Yeah, okay. Is, is, is there no way you could just make it completely flat without... Uh, I wouldn't. Because, tool because you're using point. stucco. I'm afraid, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any way in which they can be aligned? Uh, I mean, for example, when I'm looking at the north elevation, maybe I should get up here and use the screen. I think that's the pattern of the, the joint. Is that I am. Thank you. This is for everybody. So you know what I'm talking yeah. about. This is the this is the elevation for you. You see these two joints here fit rather nicely in equally in here, but when we get here, they they lose their um, their relationship. Um, I'm thinking it would be nicer if the tool joint was there, and if necessary, another one in the middle, and then maybe one over here. Uh, I was confused about these pilasters too, that's another question. Um, uh, does this louver have to be the same size as that or could it be smaller and fit with this? I made it so big that whatever they want will fit behind it. I expect most of it's going to be blocked off. What if we said uh, that you have to tell the mechanical it. engineer that as the, I guess that the uh, air volume is... is uh, I, I can bet you that we could do with half that in fact. Yeah. Right? I so, want them so that they fit into the panel and not be a small. So maybe the if, if it's if it's a condition that we would it would be to work to align the the two joints with the uh, pilasters on the north side and, and, uh, and uh, size the uh, the south the, the easternmost bend. Accordingly, uh, I have to go back to my questions because I can't remember after that. Um, so, okay, I don't think I need to know the answer to that one. North side, can you align it with the pilasters? Yes, south end. The pilasters at the west end. Um, so I'm now on the south elevations. Let me look and see. Um, Yes, the, again, the... Is that necessary, or is that? Uh, I mean, it, it's it's uh, putting light into a corner of the um, of the lobby. I realize it's light that's coming um, 
from not under this roof, but it's it's in a kind of a hollow. Um, it feels that the appearance from the south would be improved by by not having that window there. I mean, that's a personal opinion. Wait, so which window? I, the, yeah, that the it's second so, side. The it's second. so asymmetrical. It it, it 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 uh, disrupts the symmetry around right. the entry. Right. Um, and, oh, I see. Uh, you mean that one right here? Question. Yeah. Um, we, we can do that. If the building will look a little more like it belongs to the graveyard, but that's true. <laughs> oh, inside. Deadly, deadly symmetrical, but uh, oh, okay. Well, we'll be dead yes. by then anyway. But I mean, it's it's because it's. <laughs> Well, we I guess I'll let that hang as a, as a, yeah, that, as a, as a yeah, I don't mind that format. actually. I like, I prefer little, windows to. A little offset, I thought it was cool. I, I actually prefer windows to siding. Well, I right. and I prefer right. more light. Yeah. Let, let me let me simply well, express that as my right. opinion. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it's not taken up by the rest of you, then it doesn't have standing. Yes. Um, uh, Oh, um, I would, another opinion, I would think it would be more generous to have a, a, a wider uh, trim band around that oculus. It would make the oculus sit better in that uh, pedal, mm -hmm. and it happens mm -hmm. in two places. You don't need to go to the other. Three places. places. Three? Yes. Wow. The two gave other gable ones. Yes. Yes. So if, uh, if that could be... No problem. Six inches wide, I'm thinking. Six to eight inches wide. Our standard is six. So it's larger than the other two. Um, oh, you're well, saying all larger? Sort of east to one I, would, I would actually go with eight, all inches, eight, eight inches. Eight inches. All around, yeah. Because I all think all that uh, I'm looking at the size of all the, uh, around here. <coughs> <laughs> what is that? We'll just leave it up all time. <laughs> and you're not showing uh, downspouts, but there will be downspouts, right? And they will probably, where they occur, they will be over the center of the corner board. Is that what we would expect? Just so sure. we all know, right? Um, so we in making our deliberations and so forth on this, as a commission, we're, we're not going to be surprised to see downspouts on the building because the detail shows guttering. The, the detail section shows guttering. The elevation doesn't show downspouts. The reason it doesn't show downspouts, I think, is because we want to see what the, what the fundamental uh, detailing is. But in certain places, there'll be, it'll be covered. But I think what you said, Bruce, there, they'll be at the corners or Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not going to be a lot of choice of where they go because right. they they you have to have them. You can't put them around the corner if the gathering is here. Right. Well, you could, but it would look. No, I mean I'm assuming like on the south on the south elevation they're going to be on the main street side. You know, it could be like four downspouts or something. You know, yeah. five downspouts catching the. Uh, do we want to see where they want to go? Uh, where the downspouts will go? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, on the on the main street, I guess there's going to be a there's going to be a, a, a gutter along there. There'll be one around here, so this downspout could be on this corner here. But two of them are going to be on the on the main that facade. That one and this one will be on the face. These will be the, around the corner. looking here where they'll be on this. Okay. The that's, will be on this that's, facade. Madam Chair, those yes. are all my questions. Okay, moment. and you took note of, yeah. I, I did. I'm, okay. I'm, uh, okay, so those. I think I'm. Um, do you have any questions? Um, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with the improvements. I think it's amazing, the presentation. I mean, it's great. Um, my instinct is that I guess I would play, I don't know, a little bit more with the windows of the main streets by the door, if there could be 
I, I agree that if you take away that window, you're going to have more of a that look that's going to be less attractive. Mm. But it is a little weird as it is. I wonder if you come up with a brilliant idea to even. <laughs> I mean, is it possible that. to put another window on the other side? Uh, be it, it would be in, in uh, Jim's <coughs> office. <coughs> He feels you, like to, yeah. you mean if it went right here, would you, you move know, to another office? You, yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Uh, you have to agree that the appearance on the main street is going to be very, very important. So, if you compromise the having windows in an office that you don't want, it's just, it might be worth it to have it really look beautiful and aesthetic. From and and you're getting very close to it. It's just that part disturbed me a little bit. So I agree with you because another set of windows on the other side would, would, do, it. would do it. We do, do, it. do it. I mean, I would say play with that and see, make it a little more graceful. We, we could take the, uh, the peak and move it, move it a, a bit over. So I wonder how that would look. And we, oh, that would be difficult. We'd work, we'd rework it out and put one large light on either side. That's another. Yeah, well, we don't. I mean, I think you just play with it and see. Yeah, no, I think best. we need to play with it. I really don't want to put one in Jim's office. Right. I see him enough. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's. The that's window there, if you did put another one on the other side, the next one could be moved. So that's it. Well, that's it? Okay, thank you, Karen. Um, Jim, do you. Want to... I don't have any questions. I'm just, you know, impressed that each time they come before us, uh, the design is refined and more measurements and uh, a, lot of, a lot of clarity has been added. Yeah, thank you. And I do thank Bruce for knowing what clarity to ask for. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Marianne? Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to have a little difficulty. Um, I'm very impressed with, with the additions. This is really very well done. Uh, I do have two questions. You remember you just won my heart over several iterations ago when you had that lovely curved walkway mm -hmm. up to the, uh, the incline, up to the um, main entrance, rather than the straight shot you have up I like front. that idea. And uh, there are so many straight shots on mm -hmm. this that I think a curved line here and there, even echoing the, uh, you know, the parking area, would be, I think, more elegant and more graceful. Yeah, I like that. So, thank you for that. And uh, the other one, and so now you haven't broken my heart by taking it away. Thank you. Uh, the other is, I had been puzzled, and so now I just want to confirm uh, on page, from the drawing on page four, that my initial, is four the one that I want? Yes, I mean, it does because I'm looking at the at the little blocks of uh, of the uh, outer boundaries of the homes, uh, and I do see that the building on the western side does extend to the west of the tree line that is otherwise the back boundary of the Gray Street properties. Uh, is that the case now? Uh, I just was. Wondering how the alignment went, because my hope had been uh, that it wouldn't, that there would be a kind of a straight shot of the tree lines there, there that, are trees. Are the, that are western bound of the western boundary of the Gray Street properties all the way down. It, it's, it almost does line up. Almost it's does, yes. Okay, almost good. Does. I just wanted to confirm that. But I we didn't know. intend to have a hard line. We'd like it to have the a slightly natural look. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. As long as I get okay. that slope walkway, I'll be happy. Nate. <laughs> yeah, I just I mean I think um, you know I just want I, I just have, I've high, highlighted things in the plans um, just to call out for the commission to be aware of. There's you know the side walkway on the west side of the building on the site plan. You know Bill mentioned it. I just want to make sure people are aware of that. Um, retain while you captured. Um, there is the, you know, now some earthwork on the southeast corner. So, you know, there's the the circular topography. So, you know, the building is balancing cut and fill on the site. So, you know, it's going to be brought up 
on the southeast corner. You can see the topography there, and then it's you know cut down on the where the where the ilex hedges are. Wait, so right here? Yeah, that's going to be you know now it's so if you go up to the building, it's you know a three, four feet of grade change. You know, so that's going to be sloped up. That's what that is <coughs> showing. Uh huh. I'm just sloped up going towards the street or towards the no, going uphill towards up the building. To, toward the building. Yeah. yeah. Thirty degree angle. Yeah, I just want to call it out. It's a big um, angle. Thirty degrees. So. Just so you know that if I was standing on the uh, on the street there where it says 264, then right here, yeah, uh, my eye level would be with the uh, plane uh, above, where the, up to the corner of the building. In other words, they, I would see. I could not see. Uh, uh, my eye level would be. Oops. With this plane here. Uh -huh. But the height of the building from here is 26 feet? No, it's, it's higher from there because right. it's, you've got the... You've got because it's, it's sloping up. Yeah, yeah as, as just as it would be lower from here because right. this, is, uh, this is 276, this is 276. There's 12 feet of grade change, 12 or 13 feet of grade change from there to there. So this is... And the building is more or less in the middle. Right. So, yeah, you can look at the topography on the, near the infiltration basin. Behind the hedges, there's you know solid black lines at an angle. Those are new proposed topography lines, so it's balancing cut and fill on either See, side of the, so this, of the building. So this this is where the grade changes. Right. So this has changed, but all of this through here is unchanged. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just bringing that up. Sheet two. The um, you know if we look at the site plan, there's just a, the the. Um, the new freestanding sign in the northeast corner. If you look at you know the building floor plan, you know over by the driveway. You know Bill mentioned it. I pointed it out. I just want to have just the commissioners be aware of that. This is right there. Um, on the other side, Bruce, the freestanding sign is over by the entry drive. Oh, this thing. Oh, that freestanding sign. Yeah, freestanding okay. sign. Yep. Yeah. Where is that? I was looking at this detail, but I'm not. That's seeing. on sheet. The details on sheet uh, four. Okay. So maybe we should just. You go to sheet four. Okay. It's, it's 30 yeah. inches wide yeah. and 18 inches high. Yeah. So uh, a heavy snowfall. Yeah, they'll have the shovel of snow. <laughs> it really is only 18 inches, okay. In there somewhere. Yeah, it's hard to read. Um, have a sheet <clears throat> sign. Then, just to note on the sheet two, if you look at the east elevation, you know there are the stairs that they're showing. There'll be a railing. That, that's visible. It says it there. You know, you can see, see a railing in the stone wall next to the east elevation. Oh, here we go. Here. here and I just want, it. you know, so for instance, you know, we don't know the detail of the railing, but it will be there. So, you know, it's kind of like we're talking about the downspouts. You know, there'll be. That's a, the railing. That's what it will look like. That's a two inch. They're not. It's really just a railing. Both sides. There's no. Yeah, because one it's side. uh, only required if it's a 30 inch drop. This is yeah. not. So, this is just so, a handrail. So just a handrail. In relation to that, then. I'm back to my favorite topic, but um, if we have the railing on the right side to get up the steps, and we had some kind of sloped entrance coming in from the west, I was also thinking about wheelchair access from buses because uh, people would be coming with wheelchairs by bus as well as using the handicapped. You mean the main back entrance from the parking lot? Uh, no, I'm talking about coming, uh, getting off a bus on Main Street yeah. and being able to come up a slope. Oh, there's no slope. Oh, you mean all along Main Street in case they park mm -hmm. way down? Not parking, no. I think Moran's I'm, I'm on a wheelchair yeah. and I've just been let down out of the bus yeah. Yeah. and I'm wheeling myself into that front door and you've given me a lovely slope uh, access that I had just asked for. Good, not slope. Uh, that is not on the steps. But it comes in this way. I think the bus stops. But sorry, Maureen, right, I think you misunderstood. Right now, Maureen, the entry, if we're, on this, if we're on page two, the sidewalk on Main Street is showing, then there's a straight entrance right to the main front door. That's all accessible. So that's yes, all. This is all yes, and I was only asking before, and you had said it was possible, that it not be a straight shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so while we're on that, could you, because it seems like that found favor with everybody, is that correct? 
So if that's the case, it's likely to be a condition that we would vote? Yeah, I mean, if typically if, a, if if a walkway at grade is not part of the review. So, you know, I think if that's, it's, it can be, as a whole new building, it can be considered, you know, but I mean, we don't see it in front of us in terms of what that means. Well, but all, I'm, all I'm trying to do right now is to sure. track consensus feeling or just, uh, yeah. consensus opinion, let's say, on the commission and, uh, and then keep a record of it yeah. as we go. So I don't have, well, so have exactly what feeling. did you, what did you say, Maureen? Um, how would I describe it? That from the, uh, from the sidewalk to the west, that there be a sloped, graded access to that main door as well as being able to go up steps. That, is that, isn't that what we were talking or about? Or were you no? assuming that if you were using yeah. the handicap, you'd go to yeah. Gray so Street entrance? There's no Sorry. change from grades up yeah. there. But what we yeah. could do. I'm not sure that I understand. Yeah. Instead yeah. of that straight that. shop that you have there. But, but so, or in addition. But what I like about this is right now it's a universal design. It's accessible to anyone. I think yes. adding steps adds cost and it becomes a barrier. Well, you don't nature. care if there's steps, so there's no right? I'm not asking for the steps. No, she wants. I'm just seeing that there's a railing, so I assume there were steps. Well, but I didn't know you'd need one. There's no railing. I don't no, think I like there's. Railings myself. <laughs> but the railing is just on the east. No, but this this is the yeah this is the eastern elevation, right? Yeah. Just in case it's ice. It's nice to have a, a, a little railing. I just. I, I don't think there is a railing on the front. You were talking front, about Moran was having a curve in the park. Yes, that's right. It's okay, right. so nothing about that's slopes. Right. It's, slopes. Yeah. it's no. curves, right? So, so you're 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 I'm you're good. advocating for a curved entry walkway, that's what I'm as opposed to a straight for. one. Thank you. We are going to public. Well, you're not okay. You can. We're going to go to public comment after, but. No, this one's one foot. I have something. Yeah. To say that okay. Right. Right. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Good. And you're. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your town, not public. So. Okay. <laughs> So I just, I'm Chris Brester, the yeah. director. I just wanted to note that if you have a curved walkway like that, you have to come from some direction. And so then you would have to decide which direction are you coming from. And I think the straight shot gives everybody an opportunity, no matter what direction you're coming from, to just go straight in. Whereas if you start curving it, then you have to maybe have one going to the west and one going to the east. And so that's going to make a different look here. We probably need two walkways. It's no, I, I think you'd do it like this, Chris. So one's going up and one's going down. You would do it like that. <laughs> right, Maureen? Yes, that would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, I mean, if, if, uh, if that's... Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Like a can funnel. Show, when people ask us 10 years ago, yeah, it kind of goes like that. this. Yeah. 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 Can I just show um, the cards like this? Yeah. I, and then you yeah, can get it kind nice. of thumbs, yeah. Just make it beautiful. <laughs> yes. So I'll go back to my comments on sheet two. So yes. my only question is, do you think there'll, there'll be um, people would want to cut across from that side path to the main walkway? Like, would there ever be a chance, you know, just to connect, like, you know, just if there's desire lines? No. Um, just I was, I was looking at that mm -hmm. patch there, right. and between the two sidewalks, uh, maybe we could dream up some. Right. Something interesting right in here. Yeah. Maybe joins this and this right. out again. Uh, maybe yeah. this. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's substantially that grade. I'm, I'm not, not there yet, yeah. but that'd be kind of fun. So I'm just going to, there's a few things I've noticed on the east elevation, you know, there are a lot of um, call outs. So, you know, they said there's the backlit pin mounted sign over the door, there's the railing, there's a hose bib. You know, I'm just, you know, calling everyone's attention to those things just yep, as yep. a small detail. Um, on the south elevation, Again, there's two signs, you know, the pin mounted signs, one above the door and one on the um, eastern corner, right below the banding. Um, there's an exhaust louver you know, below the pediment, you know, that would be right on the, again, in the band. Um, just so we're all aware of it. On the north elevation, Bill, you covered all that. Is there a, <laughs> I mean, could, since there are these outstanding details, so that make, is there a, an opportunity before, you know, it's built to, to come back, or how does that? Yeah, so I mean, I think I handed out draft staff, you know, there's yeah. draft possible conditions for this, and right. so one of it was that, you know, these types of things would come back at a public meeting, so they're noted on the plan, and they're not, you know, at this point in the development of a, of a you know, fairly new big building, renovation right. or new building, they may not all, the details right. may not be had. So yes. the location might change a little bit and the 
exact yep. specifications for that piece may not be known. So, you know, I think they've done a, a good job of showing yeah, roughly where it's going to go based on the interior layout. And so, you know, the condition would be that they could come back at a public meeting to preview the material submittals or catalog specifications or something. Um, you know, if which is actually just what happened right before the first item on the agenda was a residence where we had issued a certificate of appropriateness and then they had a couple of changes and they came back right. and we approved them but they did come back because there were some we changes yeah changes, right and then the, the just to clarify the sign on the driveway there's no lights or anything associated with this if you think that right that's that's really that, those were on could, I, could I raise just one other question I don't know if it's appropriate to uh, add a sentence or two to your appropriateness statement but I thought that where you talk about the appropriateness of maintaining the viewscape, uh, I thought the Women's Center might appreciate a sentence or two about screening the parking area for the, for the privacy of their functions. I thought I did. Because I think, uh, I didn't see that. Yes, the box was. Right. Yes, but is that on this statement? Oh. I, or maybe it couldn't hurt to make it explicit because we are requiring I think that. There's so much is, is mm -hmm. explicit here that I thought it would be a good gesture. I mean, you, you say on the, last, the last one, the year round green hedge will be planted at the west end of the parking lot to shield the view of the parking from Triangle Street. Um, and you go on a little bit. I just thought another sentence would pin it down. Well, comfort. Um, okay. Um, so we do, you know, want to um, have the opportunity for public comment. Uh, we would like to close, well, we, we will close the meeting by 6. So um, for show of hands, how many um, in here would like to make comments? Okay. So I think we'll proceed to that now, and I'll go in order. So I'll start with you, okay, Ms. Greenbaum. I've and three. identify who you are, please. Oh, Hilda Greenbaum, and I'm in the border. Oh. I have three questions. First, I'd like to say I'm really pleased how far this has come over the nine months or more. It's a huge improvement. Um, my first one is I'm concerned about the walkway on the west side, what the purpose of that is, and wouldn't it look better if it were landscaping? It connects the parking lot to Main Street, but I don't know if anybody would use it. And uh, it tends to look like a place that might collect a lot of ice. So uh, I, I'm wondering if that can be landscaped rather than a wood. And then the, um, another one is, does the engineer expect that there will be standing water in the, um, in the depression for collecting stormwater? Did, would that have standing water in it, and, and would it perhaps be a rain garden type place where people might want to gather outside? And then I guess along with that, will the, will the field be mowed, or, or you don't care as part of the historical commission whether the field is mowed or, or left to go to wildflowers? That, and then my, my last question was I learned a new architecture word and I'd like you to define it. What is a horn on the window? <laughs> um, I just wrote down all these questions, and we'll wait till the end, and then, okay. yeah. Thank you. Uh, going this way, yes. So Felicity Hardy, I represent Harm's Way. I'm also an Amherst resident. Um, but I'm just going to introduce Lucy Connolly uh, from Berkshire Design. Um, who is a, a um, civil engineering firm because I had some questions about the grading of the site uh, and not being a civil engineer, I thought it would be best to have somebody with more expertise on that uh, addressing okay. questions and concerns. Thank so, you. Uh, oh. Thank you. So just give so your name and, yes, yeah. Lucy Conley, uh -huh. future designer. Okay. Um, so uh, starting on the south, um, the south elevation, um, there's actually a wall to the left of the, uh, of the stairway, which is not shown. And um, there's grading into that wall. <coughs> and, or maybe, uh, uh, at least that's, it's shown on the site plan. I don't see it reflected on the, on the, um, 
Yeah. I'm sorry. We have the east, site I'm plan sorry, up, and could you elevation. do what I did and point the way you are going? Page one is that what we need the the east on the east elevation. I'm sorry, east right, east which you board. put up. The site the plan shows a, a wall with two contours swinging into it. The signing board. Signing board. Well, mm -hmm. they'll get into that. Is page one what we want? I don't know what she's talking page about. Page two. Yeah. Page two is what we want. You, the east ah. elevation. The top of that wall is 268. That's what the interior grade is, so it's really a curve. Okay, so you can't, you, you, you're not, it's not really represented. You can't see that slope. You won't see okay. it. Okay, all right. Just, oh. to, just to clarify, the um, if we're looking at um, sheet two, wait, I'm going to, this is the way I understand it, is, um, you know, on this corner right here, there's a set of stairs. And there's you know a wall that wraps around it, but that becomes essentially at grade, so the land slopes up to it. So it's not as if there'll be much of a raised wall here, right? Yeah. That, right. That's right. okay. So um, then, if we move to the back of the site, the, the parking lot is really uh, depressed into the ground. So where those where the ilex shrubs are at mm -hmm. the end of the parking lot is actually a five foot. Um, uh, increase in elevation up to the infiltration meadow. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was stated that the stormwater from the parking lot would be pumped. In, pumped, okay. Uh, so there's two points, I guess. These ilex shrubs are six feet high, but really from the top of the meadow, you would only see the top of the shrubs unless you plan on putting them up up the slope, just as an understanding of topography. My challenge was to get low ones that stay green. Anything can get too high, and I didn't think that was good for anybody to be blocking the views. So right, the but it was stated that for Triangle Street, you would be looking at these evergreens, but you actually would only see maybe the top of them. Good. That means you can't see the parking. The idea was to, yes, yeah, screen the cars. Place. Right. Yeah. And so we're going to pump the stormwater up into this meadow. So I think it's a big consideration uh, for the view that that meadow not be changed in elevation at the top, that it not be depressed or raised um, significantly. Uh, so it seems that that maybe uh, is an important criteria, that that area not change in topography from the current state. Um, wouldn't that, so they wouldn't affect the view. Behind the building. Right, right, to the side of the building. I think it would help if you would, uh, I think it would help if you would stand and, sure. and uh, point to the focus of your questions. Uh, that would, things would go better. So, um, from here at 270 to up here at 276 is a six foot increase uh, in elevation. So what I was saying is, um, I, I, I am not commenting on, on the shrubs, or I'm just wanting to state that these shrubs will not be visible from, from Triangle Street because they're, they're basically shielding, they're basically creating a green buffer here, but they, <clears throat> they're no taller than this elevation here. But will that elevation shield the cars from the women's club? Yes. Yeah. The goal, the, the objective right. is that if you're at a party outside the women's club that you not be looking at the cars in the parking lot, the eight cars in the parking lot. Right. Well, that would be up to a, some analysis of a view to, to, if you could see them. But um, I was just stating that right. they're not, they're not, you know, they won't protrude above this. Right, no, I understand right. that. I'm just okay. trying to say the, the right. purpose for the trees was to shield the parking right. lot. Yeah. Well, one would have to right. do that analysis. Um, and so, and then the other point is, so then since this parking lot here is at elevation 270, and this area is actually quite a steep slope to it, so it varies in elevation from uh, 276, 277, 278. So somehow the water, the storm water from here and all the gutters from the building 
is going to be no, pumped? It's, it's partial. I believe that the parking lot goes out to she Main Street, yeah. but the roof drainage is going to go to that thing. All right. So when, if it is pumped into here, uh, we believe it's it's a consideration that this, the grade in this area not be altered in order to create a, a pond or to to flatten it, uh, because that would affect the view shed. Uh, if this was flattened, um, it's not flattened. you know it would have a totally different appearance. Right now, it has a ten percent slope across it, so uh, that's just we were uh, uh, considering that that should be maintained to uh, maintain the view from to that area. Is it now raised by one foot? Is that at the worst? Yes. And blend, and blend it in. But is it visually, is it preferred in terms of if I obscuring the, uh, the view of the parking lot? Is that? Not only the parking lot, but every little bit you raise that, is it less you're going to see of the cars right. on Main Street. So if I were up ahead, up on the top looking down, I would prefer that. If I was walking along Main Street, I would Fortunately, because my head's six feet off the ground, five feet off the ground, I can still see past it. But we went through that. Right, right. We you also demonstrated, you weren't here, but we demonstrated uh, in our flyby, we did it with one foot raised and one and less one foot raised. I couldn't see the difference. Nobody could. It's, it blends right in. It's <coughs> virtually no change. And no change in the slope, because it is 10% right. yeah, yeah, slope. No, it's, to mimic it just exactly one foot over and then blend it in. And that's Thank governed you. by the uh, you know, the engineering, which is being done now. You know, it, it has to do with the water level in the ground. And right. Usually, usually infiltration requires a somewhat level. Of That'll be all uh, spelled out for, you know, but for the planning board. The planning board will weigh in on that. Right. Right. Big time. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. As long as the topography is not altered. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, let me go to, to Ms. Pam. Dorothy Pam, uh, member of town council, but just speaking of, as a member of the Women's Club. It's a question about the sign. I can see, uh, that's the sign, the backward sign. I can see that I might like that in some place, but I don't see how it fits in the style of this building. Uh, that's my question. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I had that. Question two. Just back to the last point. Oh, could you say your name? Oh, it's uh, uh, Matty Massinga, representing Harnsway, and I'm a Amherst resident. What will that area look like from the deck of the Hill House, or the front porch of the Hill House? Meaning, as they're looking down, are they? Is it going to be a noticeable area that they can see uh, uh, the water going? Not water going in, but would it be like a raised septic system or something where? You're sitting up at the Hill House, you're looking down, and here's a mound that's sticking up. That's okay. question. Thank you. I have a couple, and um, Ms. Greenbaum's questions that we'll let the applicant answer at the end of the public hearing. Well, we'll get back to the okay. Are there any more questions or comments? Okay. Um, no, just a question about what? pumping noise, noise of the pump. Did we talk about that at all? Well, let's add that to the questions. That's good. Um, so, uh, Mr. Gillen, should I direct these questions to you? I'll start with Ms. Greenbounds. <coughs> had questions about, um, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong page here. Uh, she asked, um, will the walkway on the west side collect ice? Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know. They'll be maintaining it the way they do anywhere else. What's I think so, yeah. It's uh, west really facing. Mm -hmm. And there's not, not a wall sure. there. It just go goes into the the meadow, right? It's there's it's not like the t it's not like on Pleasant Street where you're walking between two buildings. The, you know that walkway by Antonio's mm -hmm. Pizza. It's a walkway, but it just goes into the the meadow, right? So it's, yeah. it wouldn't it wouldn't be an uh, an area for collecting. It's not. It's sloped it's yeah. enough to drain. Uh, I'm not sure at this moment whether we'll even pave it. Uh, we needed to have a flat bed for the for the building. We didn't want to have the slope bang into the siding of the building, so we wanted to create a flat bed 
So you've got something three or four feet wide. We thought, well, we might as well expect that people will want to walk around if to just to do maintenance, if nothing else. Mm. But it doesn't necessarily have to be, and might not be paved, it may be just gravel. My, my thought is facing southwest or facing west it's uh, on that side, it's going to get a lot of sun, so I'd be quite surprised if there was an ice problem there. Yeah. And then there was a uh, question about um, a rain garden? Well, basically, do you expect that there's going to be standing water in the one foot depression? It's not a depression. No, it's a raised one it's foot. Raised. It's raised, or would yeah. Would it would have drained through so that it's grass. There, there are pipes underground with perforations and holes in them. So it wouldn't hold water. And it's, the pipes will hold water till it seeps out of them. They're so you couldn't have like purpose. a rain garden there. Hmm? You couldn't have like a rain garden. Oh, I don't know what a rain garden is. It's not depressed. Well, it's, it's landscaped not like a, a marshy like area. Like oh, oh, it's too much. It's a slope. Yeah. And then there was a question about a horn on the window. What is it? What is a horn on the window? This guy here. Oh, that, okay. Just I can't there. see it. It's just the trim. It's the sill <coughs> extending beyond the uh, limit of the casing. Oh, okay. So you'll often see that the sills extend beyond the limit of the casing, maybe an inch, maybe Didn't less, know maybe that more. Was the name that is called the sill horn. And okay. when you put aluminum siding on or vinyl siding on, the first thing you do is they cut, cut the off. Yeah. And you know that that's. Not right. That's exactly what um, happened on the farmhouse. And then Mr. Massingale's question about what will the, be the view from the Hill House. That's the view right there. Yeah. So you will not, so here today, they're sitting on their deck, mm -hmm. they're looking down, and they will not be able to see the drainage no, at no. all. They won't see any rays, no. uh, uh, mounds, nothing. Absolutely. And there won't be, uh, I don't know, Sort of like a, this colored grass where the water is collected. So I guess what I'm saying is, if you're sitting on the deck and you're looking down, you will not see it at all, and no, no, no sign of it at all. And in my opinion, no. And I'm a farmer. Is it 100% certain that you will not see it? So the question was, is it 100? I, I guess he said, yeah. So the response was no. No. Yeah. So um, if you if you were actually to see one the site plan, I, I, along those questions, I mean, my, um, Matt, I think the, the commission is looking at how it impacts the view from the streetscape. It's not necessarily concerned with how much of the view is impacted from a neighboring home. So that view is visible from Triangle Street um, through the Women's Club. So it's important, um, you know. So like Bill said, there's a balance. If we're on Main Street and you actually wanted to block all the cars, you'd have a larger, steeper slope along the sidewalk on Main Street to flatten the, the slope of the of the lawn, which would you know, which we don't, which everyone said they don't want along Main Street. So, you know, I think if you know if the 12-inch increase in the infiltration area follows the slope of the thing, so it's not a tabletop; it's actually just an increase following the same slope and everything that's feathered out. You, in the end, you won't even notice that it's there. Um, you know, everything's subterranean, so all the drainage pipes, mm -hmm. you know, is going to it's all going to be pumped from somewhere. But on this site plan, I guess my question, to where I thought you were going, is is this wall up here visible? What does this look like here? So you know, originally the wall never extended beyond the building. So I, that's one of been one of my outstanding questions. What does it look like? It's dying into the grave right yeah. now. So so from both sides, mm -hmm. it's gonna just disappear. Yep. So you say, Nate, that you will not see it. That wall. From the you won't know. Uh, back to what we were talking about because you just said that we wouldn't see it. Right? I think if they have twelve inch grade change, if you feather it out, you won't even notice that it's there. If they can feather out, you know, that that infiltration area. Oh, okay. I, I think it'll be... As long as you say so. Hey, I think it's going to be very unlikely you'll notice it. Um, okay. but, I, but the wall, you're saying, is going to be a speed, run into the grade. So from both sides, it's not going to be... It's going to maintain an elevational height, and then the grade is just going to come up to it at a... Both well, ends. Yep. Yeah. Well, the grade is uh, on the north side. It's uh, above it. It's it's it hits the grade. Right. Uh, below it, it's 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 accommodating the excavation of the building. Yeah, I just want to confirm that. Yeah. So I did this section that shows the cars parking. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Okay, are there any other public comments? I have a question about pump, the pump noise. The noise. noise. Oh, uh, okay, let me just, I'll get, when, okay. so are there any public um, comment questions? Okay, <coughs> so with that, we will close the public comment portion of the meeting and Marianne's question about will there be noise from the pumps? Then probably a question that Jim would be more concerned about because it's going to happen inside <laughs> the building. Right. We're not expecting it. We're, that's something that the engineers are working on very closely. Yeah. You know. There's a merge. We have them in my building. You don't hear them. Right. And, and you don't hear them outside. Oh, don't even no. hear them inside. Yeah. If you don't hear them a little bit, you're worried. Right. You make sure they work. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true in my basement. It's because okay. I know it's going. Okay, so with that, um, can we move to close the public portion of the meeting and then we will deliberate among ourselves? I think so. There's yeah. no, there's no do I, have, I don't have to move to do that. We can close. Yeah, no, so you, so no, yeah, we so haven't closed the public. Oh, we haven't closed the public hearing. For, for I'm sorry. Months, so right, we're right, about right. To, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. About yeah. To do something, something yeah. significant. Yeah, yeah, so I think that's, the, that, that's, that's the question, right? So if the commission is comfortable. At this point, to close the public hearing, so that means you know no yeah, new information told, from right. the applicant, you know no more public testimony or comments, and then it's deliberation amongst the commission. So, I'm good with that. So I'll move that we close the public hearing. Excuse me. Th does that allow us to work with conditions? Yes. It does. But what I was going to say is, if they end up changing the entryway around, that that's, you know, a, possibly a new application. So if changes come. Yes, as they know, do, does. As they do, right? Yeah. I just, yes. Well, I I think we've got. Okay. Right. On that. Okay. I just want to make but sure. But we, I feel, I think today we have to. Yes, we yeah. have to make a decision today. Yeah. So, I'm, okay. Is there a second? To, but I think we can. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> can I read my thing? Uh, yeah, but no. What I was, I guess, maybe now is also the time to say it that yeah. um, I do think today we, are, I would um, propose that our goal be to approve a certificate of appropriateness, deny a certificate of appropriateness, or approve one with conditions. But um, I think we, the, this application has been proceeding for 10 months, well, I guess since August, the second application was submitted. And um, fairness to all involved, as well as the fact that we, you know, are at risk of um, not having a quorum. If we keep it open too much longer, we already have two members that missed a meeting and so that are not um, eligible to vote. They're actually not here today, but um, so mm. that's that's where I am hoping we will get to. Mm. So, well, I, I think I'm, I'm going to make a motion. But before I make the motion, I'd like to read something that I wrote because uh, uh, I arrived early, and I'm sorry I, I ignored a few people like Meg. I, yeah. She was trying to get my attention, but I ignored her. Um, it seems to me that. Um, this is a personal statement, a, a statement of personal findings, and to some extent it might be something that we all want to endorse, but I don't think that's really necessary. But I, I think it's appropriate that we read this because, or I read this because it's been a, it's been a, a quite an effort to, to get as far as we've gone. So um, I think the most important factor relating to the considerations that we are directed to in, art, in uh, section, particularly section 8.2 of our, our bylaw, um, the the one that is most uh, uh, significant, most uh, uh, demanding, was the matter of scale. Um, for a certificate of appropriateness, a finding that the scale and proportion, but the scale uh, of the building, was paramount. That 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 was that was the thing that was. Uh, certainly uh, overwhelmingly uh, the most significant thing for me in this process. Um, the applicant and the commission have engaged over this uh, strenuously during the four or five or six meetings that we've had over the past five months, and many representations have been made by um, folks uh, in, in uh, public uh, comments. Um, uh, representations largely that have represented that the 4,000 square feet uh, or on two stories, the 2,500 uh, thereabouts footprint of the building is too big. Uh, some of you have even made the case that any building in this location would be too big. And whereas I understand that the viewscape from the east 
uh, moving west up Main Street um, would be diminished by any building and also whereas I agree that the viewscape um, in this from this location from this aspect is you know, among the most splendid in town I find I can't support a finding that no building should be allowed on this site because any viewscape because of any viewscape transgression I think and I'm not a lawyer, of course, but it feels like that would amount to a taking, and I can't imagine that we wouldn't be uh, putting the town to the task and expense of defending it. So I think we'd have to feel very strongly, uh, and I don't feel that strong. Um, so that moves me to the question as to how much is too much in relation to a viewscape transgression, and similarly, in regard to the scale, how big is too big? So, as I said, uh, the Commission and the applicant have worked together to achieve significant improvement. And I look back uh, earlier at the various um, submissions that have been made, and, and I think there has been progressive and significant improvement. But, uh, as I said earlier in the, in the discussion, back in October, I think, I don't think that the current proposal, um, which is to say the current schematic design approach, is as good as it could be, um, so far as being uh, uh, fitting in scale. But I was not able to convince you all of that. I was not able to convince you that such a voluminous uh, building could be significantly reduced by going to a different style, a flat roof style, reminiscent, shall we say, of the neighbors across Main Street, um, that that would be a more suitable design approach. I thought that at the time. I still think that. I think we could have done better, but it would involve embrace, embracing a design scale that you all didn't have the confidence that I do that could be made to look wonderful. I still think it could be made to look wonderful. I don't think what we have before us is as good as it could be. Um, and it was also clear that the applicant uh, was not inclined to explore that approach either. And I think that was unfortunate. But it's water under a bridge, <coughs> water under my bridge. So then, um, in the past month or so, I um, engaged with the with us all um, to um, with the design uh, solution that stylistically embraces the north side of the street rather than the south side, um, and uh, work to uh, in a joint effort. Uh, to get where we are now. The current proposal has come a long way, as I've said, to achieving an acceptable finding uh, uh, in scale, particularly in proportion, um, uh, and, uh, 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 and I guess uh, personally I can now support a finding that a certificate of appropriateness should be granted. I contemplated for a while that uh, how how true, how, how strenuously was I going to hold to my view that we could have done better? And does that result in an abstaining vote, an abstaining or a, or a no vote, figuring that there is a majority here? But I thought that was a little too precious, even, even for me. So that, um, um, so. A finding with conditions, what yeah. you say. Yeah, so, so anyway, all of that was, a preamble. I wanted to say that because I, I, I didn't want you all to forget that I think there's a better way of doing this. I really do. And you too, Bill and Jim. I know when I showed my proposal to, uh, to Bill in October, he said, is, is that, he said, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah. I thought you had um, done it for the, for the proposals for two years earlier. That, yeah. No, it's but but you and I are old but friends. It still wasn't and, true. And I, I know I know I, I know you're the way you the way you think and talk and engage and, and I although it was uh, a little uh, uh, abrupt uh, to me at the time I thought well it's that's the way it is. So I would I guess um, I could move that we uh, or are there any other well I uh, yeah uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, Maureen's got something to say. Yes, uh, I was going to propose similarly, and I would second a motion for uh, certificate of appropriateness with conditions. Well, I'm, I, so let me put that out and then we can talk about it because that's, I think, the mechanics of our process now means that right. if, we have a, if we have a motion, then we can uh, talk about it. So uh, I think I'll just go with the same uh, preamble that we usually do. Sure. That I move that uh, the Commission grant certificate of appropriateness for the uh, Amos Media project at 400 Main Street, um, finding that it is, uh, uh, well, as I've just spent three pages ruminating on, consistent with the, uh, the criteria uh, 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 stated in uh, sections 8.1 and 8.2 of the Local Historic District Bylaw. Um, uh, and, and I think uh, maybe then we, we would go to uh, conditions, and at the end then I would like to reference the documents on which this is all based. So the conditions I think I should read this, yeah. right, because yeah. not everybody has this. Well, they do. I think this they was passed out, but we will still read it. We should okay. read it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Nate has, has put together, so the conditions in, uh, as follows. The Commission approves the plans uh, um, submitted on January uh, 27th and dated January 27th. I think the site plan is dated uh, January 15th <laughs> and prepared by uh, Gillen, uh, Gillen Collaborative? Yeah, Gillen Collaborative. Collaborative yeah. um, for the Amherst Media. Uh, number two, any changes to these plans, whether to the building or site, shall be reviewed by the Commission at a public meeting to determine whether changes are to be at a, at a let's, well, actually, let's do that now, at a public meeting um, just prior to the issuance of a building permit. I think it says this says prior. Oh, um, that's what you're saying. Read that. I don't want this public meeting to be like two weeks from now. I think it should be just prior to as you're saying. when a building permit is issued, so that if there's any changes, it's not going to screw up the building permit. Not that it would probably. But anyway, I think that's Can that, that feels done? to me like a reasonable uh, time. So any changes shall be reviewed by the Commission at a public meeting just prior to the issuance of a building permit to determine whether the changes are de minimis or require a new application and um, to ensure the intent of these, these the following conditions is adhered to. So the, the documentation here and here is all thorough but our conditions are obviously a little less thorough because they're, they're, they're verbal and they're generated uh, kind of on the fly. So I would add the, to those to the second uh, condition. The third condition, prior to the issuance of the building permit, which is to say at the same meeting, the applicant can, shall provide material samples and submittals to the commission at the public meeting for approval. It's been done substantially yeah. as far as the windows are concerned, but there are other samples and so forth. Like, Num like what? Oh, I, I mean, probably, I think we <coughs> probably should give you guidance as to what we all want to hear. It sounds like people might want to see building roofing shingles or something like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, in, in, that case, in that case, um, well, maybe we'll keep it there, but recognizing that you've already come a long way and maybe all the way to satisfying that, uh, that uh, fourth condition. Um, well, manufacturing specific, oh, here is number four. Prior to the issuance of a building permit, the applicant shall provide manufacturer specification to the commission at a public hearing for the approval of architectural features, including but not limited to windows, have we done that today? Uh, doors, railings, lighting, signs, well, they're not really manufacturer specifications. Again, we can, uh, this basically gives us the yeah. right to ask certain things, mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I which have... we may or may not exercise. Yeah. HVA equipment, exhaust hoods, and vents. Number five, 
Western portion, the western portion of the property identified as the infiltration area shall so remain undeveloped except as provided on the plans. Number six, the infiltration area shall be raised no more than 12 inches in height than the existing topography as indicated on the plans. So my only condition there would be and, uh, to add to that, and follow the slope of existing topography mm -hmm. so that, um, yeah. something that was said today. Yes. Okay, you're, you're adding. Yeah, I, I get that, yeah. Um, the retaining wall running east-west along the northern boundary shall be made entirely of dry laid stone to match the retaining wall at 14 Gray Street and shall not include concrete. Um, well, it's dry laid, yeah. The wall shall be three to five feet in height as indicated on the, on the plans. I would say on the drawings or in the documentation. Yeah. Plans is, a, is not really the right word. So change all of those references to plans to the drawings. The drawings. Um, eight. The low retaining wall that wraps around the north and east corner of the building and the east stairs shall be made of the same stone as the retaining wall at the northern boundary. Number nine, the applicant is required to install and maintain permanent evergreen screen to the west of the parking as shown on the drawing. Ten, the applicant shall maintain all building setbacks as shown on page, uh, on drawing number, let's say, drawing number two, uh, floor plan and elevations. Um, uh, 26 foot 2 uh, on the eastern corner of, from Gray Street, 13, 3 from the southeast corner, on the southeast corner from the southern property boundary and 20 foot 4 inches on the southwest corner from Main Street to the sidewalk. And now there's some others which are yes. ones that I have. Uh, oh, three. Uh, number 11, the casing trim around the three oculi, is that? Great. Work for you, mm -hmm. Adam Lincoln? Yes, yes. <laughs> it wasn't one of my three, that makes four. <laughs> to be at least 18 inches, uh, eight inches wide. Number 12, the roof overhangs to be enlarged uh, all round to double that shown in the submitted drawings. And you could say uh, double on the south and north sides and one and a half times on the east and west. Thirteen. If you mean the gable ends. The yeah. gable ends. Because there are three. Yeah. 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 Charles, yeah. yeah. Gable ends. Relocate the. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Um, relocate the vertical reveal joints on the north side to align with the pilasters and make the vent grill uh, contract at the eastern end to fit between the pilaster and the corner board. Um, number 14, um, introduce a curved entry, a curve to the entry walkway uh, to the Main Street entry. And then, uh, oh, that one we've already I put back. So that's it. That's all that I have. Well, what about the parking room, the parking slots? We, don't we want to affirm that we don't want uh, more than eight? Or is that a uh, memo to the planning board? Well, no, isn't that part so, of our... So I think the... That's, that's what we're approving. That's what we're approving. That's so in we the, are approving that. Right. Yes. That's right. in right. the plans. Okay. That's, that's set. In the plan. Right. So not, yeah, it's not... I think implicitly the commission is saying yes to this design. Got it. Which is eight in parking number, spaces. And I think the... Um, you know, then at the end of the discussion with the planning board, how they would... Oh, I forgot. Um, uh, the above... Uh, uh, relates, uh, oh, the, oh, hold on, we did the reference documents on number one. Mm -hmm. So actually I'd like to add to number one, um, the commission approves the plan submitted on the 27th uh, and the drawings dated uh, 27 yeah. and 15. Um, and the three 11 by seven hand sketched detail elevation sheets at three quarter inch equals one foot uh, uh, from dated uh, January 6th. Okay. And, and, and now I'm done. Are there any others that members would want to add? Okay. And I, well, I'll have to say my, something I want to say to respond to what you. Oh, you're, you're, you're the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I should, um, I would like to respond to Oh, your oh, written declaration, but um, 
And just I thought it was a statement, but the declaration. Well, your statement, but I'll, I'll I won't interrupt the flow of this um, motion. I, we close the public problem. hearing. What? Yeah. There's a real problem there. What do we do? Can I recognize? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. yeah. We don't. We're not forced to. My experience with writing conditions over the years. I don't think you want to put in number two anything that has to do with um, up until the building permit. I think you want that in perpetuity. Well. The, any changes to the building or plan? Because somebody may come in with a change order after the building permit. I think or then they would be. Somebody may down the line in five years want to do something. Then no. They, then they would need to start the process. They would need to start the process. Uh, that would trigger a whole new review anyway. So if, if a few years down the road they wanted to put an addition on or change something, that would trigger a whole new application. Or, or if you there was a order change order. order. Well, that would do it too. So I mean, that would, that right? Somebody oh, came okay. in today because they were we approved, we approved a certificate of appropriateness, and they needed a different vent. They had to come back and a new entry door. So if, if during the plans they say, "Oh, we're going to move our entry door six feet," and they change the whole window layout, that's a whole new application. Oh, okay. so they have if, to come if, back, right? For that piece, right? right. Yeah, but <laughs> so it's not. Yes, so that is in, in okay. perpetuity. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. And, and this condition, this condition is really capturing. You know, they have to go to site plan review to the planning board, and then through the process before they get to their full design and build, they might have to make some changes. So you know, that's saying is that that's covering that, right. yeah. and that's the protection of a local After historic that, district. Things happen. Right. And our reflection about the, the initially the asymmetry of the light. Of the main entrance of the doorway, right? Of the doorway, oh, right. and fiddling that. with that, so oh, there isn't true. too much light into the wrong the office. Is that something we need as a condition, or is that something? Well, I you you were uh, you were all, you all were not convinced by my uh, view of that. I didn't think. What was your view? My view was that uh, that, that the sh symmetry should be maintained. And that we should ask for the removal of that window to the uh, east side. Right, and see, my view was, was that more light is better. Yes, that we like the and symmetry, so we but would like to wave exactly. The way to fiddle oh, with it to fit. we would like to add the window to keep the symmetry rather than take it away. Yeah. Oh, keep the I symmetry that way. That's unfair. I think I think it is a problem because I think if you do the symmetry, you're going to have the long trailer effect. Okay. You know, exactly, if you take the window away. But the symmetry is a problem. I do see that little part as not having been, there should be a better solution. I think you can center part. the door. I think you can have. It could be symmetric. Yeah, so but we don't want, let, we, we're not looking for more siding. Hmm? Right. Maybe, maybe right. the entryway should be just a little I bigger. think the bill is saying that he can recenter it. In a way that it is symmetrical and keeps the light as well. Okay, so can we add, <coughs> add that condition? to the condition? Oh, uh, can you make a condition that we that, would like uh, to so see that? that? Yes, that we would like that to see that. Entry, uh, <coughs> right. That the design of the entry, the main, the, main, the main street entry doorway, be adjusted to achieve uh, a symmetry in the uh, side light glazing. And you can do that by vigorizing the whole canopy, or um, I'm sure there's lots of there's some ways of doing that. So we just we just express the design intention, yeah. not uh, we don't try and solve the problem. Exactly. Are you comfortable with that? That they would come back to us? Well, so the condition was designed. So so approved with the condition that they come back with something that we like better or what that we see what they finally decide on and we get to vote on uh-huh because right now it's not a change will be made to try and accommodate our request but we want to see what that change is right but what if we don't like it then we can ask for well i think the yes. way this would work is that um well, let's see. the way i hope it would work is that um no, it's not going to work that if um, basically the, the the conditions as we have written them uh, obligate the applicant to come back to make sure that there are no changes that aren't de minimis, but also with the changes that we've asked for these drawings specifically, that the our design intent is achieved. Um, so they're coming back sometime in the future 
to, to review that with us. My thought, Nate, is that if there would be something that, well, there's going to be things that, there's going to be things in this building uh, that are going to happen that, some of which we've already caused to happen by asking for conditioned, uh, for, for, for changes as a condition of the approval, and some which will happen that we don't know yet. So I think we should just expect that we'll have to tough it through as a as a mm -hmm. as a collaborative of uh, commission and applicant. You know, this is the way, it, and they'll come back and and if we don't like something, we'll say no, like we did with the columns that that. Yes, or we'll disagree with each other. If they yeah, it won't be unanimous, and, and then yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll vote and see who, right. yes. where the majority is. I, I think, think we. Yeah. I think that's a bridge we don't have to cross right, right now. I think the condition right now is the design of major entry to be adjusted to achieve symmetry and the sidelight entry. So, you know, there's a, if that's what the commission wants, that can become a condition so that, you know, we're, we're saying that's what we want the applicant to do. If not, then, you know, we're accepting the plans as they are. And if they choose... I actually, I actually don't necessarily want to put in that it has to achieve symmetry because I think the building could look even more okay. more unique, plain, or... like a, a cookie cutter building if you have this part symmetry. I would like to see it somehow, it's a little odd, but it, oh. I don't want it a cookie cutter symmetry sure. just. That was I our want, Yeah. Okay. So you, 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 like the, you like it the way it is? I don't particularly, I like the fact that it's a little unusual. Yes, I do. Uh, it's, I don't, I'm not an architect, so it's harder for me to visualize than for you. But I do think that if you have this just like a window here and there as you asked for, my personal feeling is it looks more like a cookie cutter building right. that's plopped there. And I, I can concur with you. I, I would just, I'd rather see it the way it is than to have the window taken away and more siding. Yes. So I guess but that's I right. The light. But I, yes. think that I think you might be able to come up with something even better. So I'd like mm -hmm. to have as a condition that you play with this to give us a... No, that's a wish. I don't want to... Yeah, that's not a I'm not going to put that, that yeah. in any it's motion that I'm Okay, yeah. sorry. <coughs> now you've got, we've, got to, we've, got to, we've got to express some design intention. Because um, otherwise, if, uh, if I were Bill, I would just, just blow you off completely. I wouldn't, <laughs> even, wouldn't even bother to worry about okay. it. I, I can live with it the way... I can live with it the way it is, personally. It seems to me that we should strike that uh, yeah. that thing, so we've, we've gone two Trash. times around yeah. that circle. Yeah. But I do want the signage. That That's part of number two. Uh, I, I'm going to come back. Yeah, 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 I'm not yeah. used with the signage. And I also wanted to say that I do have to, I I suppose anything could be, could be better, you know. Um, I don't know, you know. The most beautiful building in the world could probably be better. So that's a little too... You know, um, it's a standard. It's hard to hold ourselves or to beat ourselves up for not having the, the best possible design there could possibly be. Um, I personally think that it really blends in very well, again, yeah. you know, with the, with the residences on Gray Street. And <coughs> so I don't, you know, again, you know, I, I guess in that, what is it, the uh, perfect is the enemy of the good. But I, I think, I mean, this is something I'm, I, I don't feel like, oh, you know, it really could have been better. I think that it, it really, you know, does, and again, I have to say, of course, everything could be better, but I think it does, you know, blend in nicely with the uh, residences on Gray Street. We don't have anything to really be apologetic about. Yeah. Excuse me, and I wanted to add uh, that, that this was, incredibly challenging because we had three different three three different streetscapes. Right. That it had to we had a unique vista about which they were very strong feelings. And uh, we had a bumpy start. And I really want to say as a credit, I think to all of us that we have done an excellent job in a collaborative way. And I'm proud of this achievement. And we really took the public comments to heart at the first application that the building should be on the southeastern corner of the lot. And you that mean the was the first one in March. The first one in March. That in addition to reducing the scale of the building, the 
site was completely changed. So I was going to say, so Bruce made a motion with now right. 14 conditions. Yeah. Yes. It needs someone, a second. It needs a second, right? If someone's. Marianne seconds, and then we vote. Um, yeah, I, I would add to your list of tribulations here that we, we've kind of forgotten now because it's five months on. Right. But we started with three, uh, seven of us. Three of us were brand new, pretty much. Three of us were brand new. We didn't know each other. And the only way we can get to know each other is in, in, in this situation. It was very difficult for us to know what we, as a, we had no collective we. consciousness. We had no collective, we, 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 we didn't have a we. You're right. So that was, for me, that was the other super difficult thing. So if Marianne second, um, should we take an actual vote uh, individually for this? Do you? Uh, you don't need we to. need to, okay. Uh, sir. Mean, we, we have to declare ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> all, in f all in favor, or who's in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. It's unanimous. That vote. Um, so I thank everybody. Hooray! Yeah. Uh, but I want to move to adjourn. And thank everybody for their patience. Uh, move to adjourn. I did. Okay. You were. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was thanking everyone. So we formally have to do a second to adjourn, right? Oh, so moved. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. <laughs>